Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you've been watching before, you've seen a lot of Project Life videos from me, but I'm also doing some videos of my planning. Um, so if you've watched some of those, you've seen my 2016 Erin Condren Life Planner and kind of seen the tour and how the planner works in general. And then also I have a goal setting post, cats, <laughs> I have a goal setting post about this planner as well. Um, so I went ahead and reordered for 2017 and I wanted to do a really quick post on how they're different from one another um, and I haven't done almost nothing to it so far so there's not going to be a lot to see in terms of what I've done but um, so anyway let's do a quick tour if you want to know how the plan actually works I would check out the other video because I'm not going to do that in this post so the first difference you can see is that this year you can customize um, exactly what you want it to look like from each piece so you can choose your coil color you can choose your cover um, which you can always choose your cover but um and then you can choose if you want to do the um, traditional like colorful layout or if you want to try the um, more neutral minimal it's like a black and white grayscale kind of thing and that was one thing that I didn't like about the 2016 planner was that you couldn't choose and so as you can see it's just really really bright um, and I love color but um it was just kind of a lot <laughs> for me. It's a lot of colors. Um, and so I was really excited to try the neutral one. So I chose the black coil to kind of coordinate with the black tabs here. Um, and also so it wouldn't clash with any of my covers if I choose to do foil covers at any point in time. Um, so you can also see that my 2016 one here is going to be a lot thicker because um, it's just got a lot of stuff in it. But I'm sure the 2017 will bulk up eventually. Um, the 2017 coil is a lot bigger, which I don't love, but um, maybe it really won't affect anything. We'll find out. Um, so a quick side-by-side. -side. You can see since I did the rose gold in 2016, the vellum is got some rose gold on it. Um, the new one here is that black and white grayscale, which is really nice. Um, I think I forgot to say with the covers, the newer covers now, all of them have um, some lined sections where you can write notes with a wet erase marker and then also in the back there's like an unlined one, so that's kind of nice. I need to get some markers, but I like the idea behind it. Um, so it starts with these quotes and this is very like, you know, well it's not too colorful, but there's a lot of colors here and so this new one um, kind of does this really nice lighter watercolor all over the place. Which is lovely. I have a Duchess. She's just sitting here with her nose in my in my frame. Say hi to the camera, Duchess. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm a crazy cat lady. Anyway, so um, I really like this kind of watercolor thing that they've done, and they've chosen this really pretty script font, which is great. Um, another thing that they changed here, you can see like all these months at a like. A glance years at a glance are really colorful and bright and here again they've just done the black and white with a really nice font which I love um so let's just look here really quickly at how the months look so you can see that um, each month kind of has this quote at the beginning and in 2016 it's like very very loud um, kind of crazy fonts and stuff um, and here in, in 2017 they have this really nice watercolor-y thing with a, with a nice font, that same font again. Um, my table's not very big, guys. <laughs> um, so you can also see that the um, year at a glance has gone from being really colorful, like, you know, in new colors every month to keep up with, just kind of bright, 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 um, to the neutral one is just very nice and clean um, and you can see that I've added people's birthdays but I haven't done very many yet so that's literally all I've done to this planner so far um, so then if we look at the weekly spread the 2016 the colorful version um, looks like this it's more colorful on other months too there's like pink and lime green and stuff like that um, so then on the new one, it's just black and white, and it's got this tiny bit of color here. Again, the watercolor is really nice. Um, so I'm really loving, really loving how much calmer it is. Um, just little, little bits of color, which is a lot, um, which I just prefer. So it's really nice. Um, 
Then the other thing that's different is in the back, we have those like really great notes pages, which I used a ton. Um, let's see. So in 2016 in the colorful version, they have really colorful things. Um, there's like butterflies, there's, you know, bright, bright, bright rainbow. Um, so here they just have that lovely like watercolor at the top. This one has that little oval I don't know, pattern. I don't know what you would call that. It's cute. And then they've got the watercolor here, which is really pretty. I love that. So this I'm freaking out about. I'm really excited. Okay, so last year, you can see here, like I started making a page of post-its for stuff in 2017. So I'm really big on like going to events and um kind of like figuring those out ahead of time so we can decide if we want to buy tickets to them and if you want to know more about our planning process for that kind of stuff you can check out the goal setting video that I have but in mid 2016 I started seeing all these things for 2017 and I didn't have a place to put them because I didn't have my new planner yet and so I just stuck them all on the back of this page and it works but it's kind of crazy and it's next to the 2017 calendar but you like couldn't really do anything because this is tiny um so I'm so excited about this this new 2018 because it shows you the months and then it has little lines where you can write things that are coming up which is awesome and knowing me this may not be enough lines but I'm still super jazzed that there's a place for it and there's even some sections down here, I guess, if you run out of room. But this is so exciting. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I know that's kind of silly, but I'm super jazzed. Um, so the last thing, second to last thing here is it still has the stickers. Um, as the pre-printed stickers and the plain ones. And then the cool thing this year is that some of them are kind of... I don't know, cut to look like a banner on the end, which is really cute. I really like those. And you get some plain ones like that too, which is awesome. Um, you can see the pocket in the colorful 2017 version is just like rainbow, like super crazy. Um, I don't know, just very bright. And so this year we've got this nice, in the, in the neutral version, there's this really nice neutral pocket and it's got some foil on the back side and one side is they're the same they're the same on the colorful 2016 version um deep pockets and but on the new one there's one deeper pocket and one kind of shallow pocket and it did come with this perpetual calendar which i haven't used at all but it's nice that they send it um so the last thing and this is something that i do not like <laughs> which is too bad um is that they come like this is my 2016 and it comes with this zipper pocket which I clearly use obviously that's why my planner is so flat and if you watch my tour you see there's like stamps and stickers and all kinds of stuff in here so I use this a ton um and it just comes standard like it's straight on the coil and I love it I use it all the time well on the new planner they and I'm sure they added this for people who didn't want to use it um, and that since I'm the one who did want to use it, I don't love this because what they did was they gave you a coil clip that's not long enough for the bag <laughs> and you're supposed to clip it onto your coil and, um, you know, that's fine. It works, whatever, but it's just like way floppier. Like I feel like I'm going to torque it or I don't know. I'm not, not excited about this change. I'm sure some people are who, you know, didn't like using it, but I'm kind of sad. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. It may not really make a difference, but I'm not, not excited right off the bat. Um, as for extra things, let's see what they put in there this year. I don't really remember. They put in some more sample compliment cards, which are really cute this year. Um, still haven't given any to anyone, but I think they're cute. Um, they what are these oh coupons cool Ooh, they expire tomorrow huh probably not going to be using these but they give you coupons um let's see they oh this is nice so instead of giving you little individual slips of their stickers to try out they have now put like made a tiny book out of it and you get some really cute ones too which I actually did buy a book of these this time and I'm gonna try them out and see 
I probably won't use them on every single page or week or whatever, but I think they're kind of cute. Um, yeah, so these are the do-it-all dots again. If you want to hear me rant about do-it-all dots, check out my <laughs> original planner video. Um, <laughs> and then they give you this cute postcard. Again, I love this watercolor. Breathe it all in, love it all out. So that's pretty cute. And then they give you a sticker. It's scalloped. It says be true. So that's kind of fun. I like that they stick in extras for you. And this year, instead of a Ziploc, which I did have trouble with um, sometimes, they give you, you know, a slidey Ziploc, which I think does break more easily, but it'll be easier to open and close. So I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on how that works. So um, we'll see. Yeah, overall, I'm excited to try it again. Um, I might post an update if something exciting happens. Otherwise, I might not. Um, but anyway, uh, I'd love to hear your questions and comments and um, if you use this planner, what you love about it or don't love or what planners you're trying because I'm always looking for good new planners to try out. So um, leave it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. I'm new to YouTube. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.